Well, today, President Obama meets with British Prime Minister David Cameron. So which leader sends a stronger signal against ISIS? Lee Carter with Ms. Lansky and Partners joins us now to break down some of their messaging for us. Uh, Lee, good morning, and thanks for being back with us here. We're going to go through some sound bites here and how it's really responded uh, to and how people are really emotionally ticking after this one direction or the other. We're going to start with yesterday, President Obama in Estonia sending mixed messages on ISIS, the manageable problem. The bottom line is this, uh, our objective is clear, and that is to degrade and destroy ISIL so that it's no longer a threat, not just to Iraq, but also the region and to the United States. We know that if we are joined by the international community, we can continue to shrink ISIL's uh, sphere of influence, its effectiveness, its financing, its, uh, its military capabilities. Uh, to the point where uh, it is a manageable problem. Okay, so we're in a world right now where messaging is everything. Certainly ISIS is using messaging, strong messaging to the world, and particularly the United States and Great Britain. What grade would you give President Obama here for his messaging? I mean, listen, what he's doing here is, is acting like this is a textbook problem. This is not a textbook problem. People are angry. People want us to respond strongly. And what is he doing right here? He's acting like a college professor, calling this a manageable problem. We are... We have people that are being killed, that are American citizens here, and we want a strong response. He's not giving it. He's not delivering it. And what we see right now is people aren't responding to him. And so overall, I would just give him a C. This is really average. Is it based on his energy? Is it based on his sort of delayed hand signals? Is it based on his actual words and choice? I think it's his actual words. He used terms like sphere of influence. He talked about effectiveness, financing, military capabilities. This is a manageable problem. This isn't textbook. He's not a college professor. He's the leader of America, and that's what we want him to see. We want strong language, maybe more like something that Biden said yesterday, where we, we see this anger saying, we're well, going to protect our people. Right, built on conviction there, it seemed. Also, want to have you listen to this. This is another uh, sound from President Obama when he discussed not having a strategy as it relates to ISIS. August 28th is the date. I am confident that as Commander-in-Chief, I have the authorities to engage in the acts that we are conducting currently. Uh, as our strategy develops, we will continue to consult with Congress, and I do think that it will be important for Congress to weigh in, and, uh, uh, or that our con consultations with Congress uh, continue to develop so that uh, the American people are part of the debate. Uh, but I don't want to put the cart before the horse. We don't have a strategy yet. What do those dials indicate to you, and then what's your overall grade? I mean... This was devastating for him. This was one of the worst moments I've seen President Obama ever have. Republicans and Democrats alike, the folks that we're talking to said, this didn't instill confidence in us. This isn't a commander-in-chief. To say that we have no strategy, what a disappointment. Sure. Saying we're doing these airstrikes and now we don't know what I'm going to do and I've got to consult with Congress, it was horrible. And so I'm going to give him a D- minus, and I'm going to say that's pretty generous given the response and the backlash that all of this has had on us. Well, okay, so one day later, David Cameron, British Prime Minister, said this. Now, we cannot appease this ideology. We have to confront it at home and abroad. To do this, we need a tough, intelligent, patient, and comprehensive approach to, de to defeat the terrorist threat at its source. We are in the middle of a generational struggle against a poisonous and extremist ideology that I believe we'll be fighting for years and probably decades. Okay, I'm seeing climbing numbers there. What's your grade in assessment? Cameron did a great job. He used really strong language. He painted context. He told us why this was different than anything before, and he talked about it in a very credible way. He said, we're going to be fighting this for years. We're not going to tolerate it on our soil. And overall, I'd give him an A. He just did a fantastic job. This is what leadership looks like. So overall, the grade is? An A. An A. Okay. Well, you know, a lot of people would say the president's statement so far would, would get an incomplete as well. We thank you for all of your insight, Lee Carter. Coming thank in. you. We'll see you soon.